A number of arrests were made involving curfew violations, while more were a result of people driving under the influence of alcohol. At Swakopmund, fishermen were caught engaging in illegal fishing, violating curfew and fishing at a no-fishing zone at the Swakopmund jetty. The heavy presence of law enforcement officials was a scene to behold at the coastal town. Residents ran outdoors to observe the patrols. Justice Minister Yvonne Dausap too was satisfied with the level of compliance at the town. The great thing that I've noticed this evening and we've been on the streets of Swakopmund for about four and a half hours is that the people of Swakopmund, congratulations to you for being able to comply with the regulations that we've put in place. I have not seen a lot of cars, a lot of movement post curfew. I have not seen people um, for example, not complying with requirements that relate to the use or not um, of alcohol. Generally, we are very happy with the compliance of our people. With regard to vaccination, they need to vaccinate. And they're more so in our informal settlements. I think we have still a lot of work to, to be done. Because we are dealing with our people our mothers, our fathers, our brothers, our compatriots. They need to be always be respected. But we should be firm in enforcing the regulations. At the Swakopmund's DRC informal settlement, Irongo governor Neville Andre attempted to encourage the community to get vaccinated, resulting in some wanting to debate the matter. We'll have to go back to the boardroom and look into the strategies in terms of intensifying our awareness with regard to the COVID-19 vaccination. We have seen that people still do not have the proper information, but we need now to go down and look into our operations and, and strategies so that people can get vaccinated. I now understand why we have a low number of people getting to the vaccination point. As the patrol progressed, more people appeared to heed the rules. Others found in shops without their masks on correctly had officials educate them on how to correctly apply masks. Many shops too were raided, though most of these businesses were found in compliance.